Well, can the city keep you safe in a flood? What must they do to keep you safe? There may be answers in a report that's just been released on last fall's deadly flooding. Some of the hardest hit were neighborhoods along Onion Creek in southeast Austin. KXAN's Angie Bevan is there now with the story. The city manager released a report. It's 86 pages long. It's aimed to be a tool to give city leaders an idea of what needs to be addressed moving forward. The report came up with a total of 227 findings of what worked well and what didn't work. It says the dozens of departments and agencies collaborated well on their response. It also says the flood assistance center operating at Dove Springs Recreation Center was effective. Some of the problem areas standing out revolve heavily around communication. First, the city manager notes the early warning system failed in Onion Creek. Secondly, communicating the evacuation notification was weak. And third, language barriers. The report says the city had trouble communicating with non-English speakers. We talked to a neighbor today about his initial thoughts on the report. The city should have some sort of uh, functional equipment um, that will that them know that there is a flood happening um, and a reverse 911 system that would call out and let folks know. The city has more than 30 departments and agencies working now to improve emergency response and recovery. Well, those corrections are expected to be done within six months. Reporting in Southeast Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Well, since the floods, KXAN looked into several issues in that report. Our investigator Robert Maxwell examined why some key flood gauges failed during the storm. The U.S. Geological Survey runs those gauges, and the city relies on the data to warn you. But the Halloween flood rose so high, so fast, that it overwhelmed some gauges. They stopped working. That delayed the warnings. According to the report, the city now has an agreement with the USGS to harden four of those gauges, two on Onion Creek, one on Williamson Creek, and one on Shoal Creek. Those gauges have two types of monitoring equipment to get more accurate measurements during floods. They also raise up the equipment that collects and transmits the data so it's less likely to get swamped. We also took a closer look at communication breakdowns and a lack of rescue boats in the time when the creek flooded homes. Now you can see all those investigations online anytime right now at kxan.com. We've got a link in this story on our front page.